aren't getting on. Is that <laughs> it? Not getting on, no. There's a rancid filter. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, do that online. Matt, thank you. Well, look, the collective is all back. The Because uh, Mother Superior still fits in her gown. Look, there you go. Do you like it? I Very wore it especially. Nice. Sister Pauline, brother Matt and Mother Superior are here. This is from Cliff. Hello, Cliff. Dear Father May and the Collective, as I have just passed my 65th birthday, I feel it is time to beg your forgiveness for a misdemeanour I made when I was 16. At the time, I was resident at a boarding school in the south of England and during the course of my studies had become very interested in the sciences and in particular, chemistry. I spent... I love confessions that start like this. I spent many hours in the school library reading chemistry textbooks, noting with interest all the exciting experiments. I worked hard to build a very good relationship with the chemistry teacher, and as a result, he would let me have the laboratory keys at the weekends so I could perform experiments on my own unsupervised. I don't think that would have ever happen today. In fact, says Cliff, I'm not sure it should ever have happened, even in those days. On this particular Saturday morning, I decided I would produce the gas hydrogen sulfide. This gas is actually very poisonous, more so than hydrogen cyanide. But because it has such a powerful and unpleasant smell, which is detectable in less than one part in 1,000 million, it usually does not cause a problem as you soon move away from the smell. The aroma itself can only be described as like rotten or rotting eggs and is commonly produced in small quantities within our own bodies and escapes from time to time <laughs> via a downward route that we all know and recognise. Apart from if you uh, if you listen to Billy Connolly over the years, celebrities in the royal family who don't because oh, they have a special not. operation yeah. called a fartectomy. <laughs> anyway, that's a Billy Connolly joke. Cliff continues. It is very easily made by simply mixing iron filings with sulphur and igniting the concoction. The result is a clinker type substance, iron sulphide, which you simply add to a beaker of concentrated hydrochloric acid. By the way, don't try this at home, <laughs> please. <laughs> The gas then bubbles out copiously. <laughs> On the day in question... I mean, it's nicely said. This can't have a happy ending, can it? On the day in question, the experiment worked beyond my expectations, and the smell soon became overwhelming. I quickly opened all the large ceiling windows, the door and other windows, but I soon realised that I had to get rid of the still fast-reacting large beaker producing this awful gas, and in a moment of ill-advised panic, flushed it down the sink, running the water for many minutes afterwards to ensure it got well down the drains. I then left the lab for a couple of hours, and when I returned, didn't seem too bad, so I closed all the windows, locked up, and went away to carry on with my, my normal weekend activities. The next day, however, everyone was talking about the awful smell around the entire school. It was the main topic of conversation. I, of course, kept my mouth shut. No one could work out where it was coming from, but wherever you went in the grounds... It was there. The root of the problem was eventually tracked back to the drains and first thing on Monday morning, the water board were called to come and put things right. Remember them? They probably sent two large vans and a number of employees to inspect the drains and they spent the whole day on the job. So now, nearly half a century later, I beg forgiveness for the unpleasantness the whole school experienced that weekend, the problems I caused to the school administration and the cost to the water authorities. In mitigation, I should mention this activity did assist me to go to Loughborough University where I gained a degree in industrial chemistry. Well done, Cliff. Fortunately, he says, I was never implicated in the incident, so I continued to enjoy use of the laboratory at weekends as before. As a result, there are also other incidents for which I ought to <laughs> ask forgiveness. But I think they should probably wait. I'm not sure the world is ready for my admissions, particularly my production of nitrogen triiodide, more explosive than nitroglycerin, and so unstable, in fact, it will explode when a fly lands on it. Something I proved to a friend. <laughs> <laughs> who watched the final fatal demonstration with me. Fatal from the fly's point of view, you understand. For now, I hope you can see your way to granting me absolution for this unfortunate incident. My best wishes to you all, says Cliff, <laughs> as he signs off there. Uh, very new, and uh, I'd like that, Cliff. Thank you. Anything from the chemistry labs? Very good. Pauline, how do you sit on this? Well... Why didn't he just admit it? What was the worst that was going to happen? Because the whole school got stunk out, that's why. Yeah, but that would probably... It sounds a bit geeky to me. I think he might have done better to have admitted it and perhaps have taken the credit. He's so. 65 now. Yeah, but he was only 16 then. I think he should have admitted it, so I think... I won't forgive him. He should have fessed up, saved everyone a lot of bother and possibly 
not been able to end up going to love <laughs> being a super chemist, so I can sort of understand it, but no, not forgiven. You tough as old up. boots. Tough as old boots you are. Yeah, but nobody really got hurt, did they? I mean, nobody... It didn't affect anybody apart from... I mean, we've all had rotten smells. <laughs> I've had them in this studio. <laughs> Um, so nobody actually died. I'm so <laughs> well, I, I think um, not immediately. No, I think I'd like to forgive you, Clive. But uh, yeah, it's the fact that he's still it's with Cliff, us. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking of the smell. You're forgiven, Cliff. Thank you. Uh, okay, brother Matt. Now, um, I, I think a word goes out to the chemistry teacher here. There's, there's clearly a fine line between nourishing talent and allowing your students to do everything short of splitting the. <laughs> atom <laughs> over the weekend. What on earth's going on there? I, I, I think fair enough, to be honest. I mean, you know, we were all young once. We all tried those experiments. And frankly, the only experiments that you were interested in were the ones that made smells or exploded stuff. Yes. And he appears to have combined both of them. So well done. I would like to get more from Cliff, actually. The nitrogen triiodide yeah. sounds uh, yeah. particularly engaging. <laughs> uh, Cliff, consider yourself... Uh, yes, unless you're a fly, obviously, in which case it wasn't very good news. Uh, we would like your confession, please, particularly from the science lab, because they always seem quite fun to me. Uh, you can do it online bbc.co.uk slash radio 2 look for the Simon Mayer pages you can follow the confessions instructions or you can email confessions at bbc.co.uk sporting headlines next